is a bright pink bat. Oh my god! This is a sculpting dough. This is crazy. Uh, Me smelling everything. <laughs> the people watching have seen that I like have sniffed like everything. <laughs> when I opened this up, I'm so like, blind I love... me. I'm like, I can't see it. I should smell it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. You can go to squarespace.com slash Molly Burke for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. In part one, we met Paul's adorable guide dog, Mr. Maple, and we also discussed his diagnosis and vision loss journey, as well as his life and career as a blind artist. And in part two, we're actually going to create art and our guide dogs and us explore a multi-sensory museum. So let's get to it. Molly, what is your history and experience with traditional art? Obviously, paint, you know, doing, uh, doing makeup is part of that. You use brushes, I you, know. Yes, I use brushes for my face. Yeah. Um, I have very minimal experience painting. Mm -hmm. uh, art class was not my favorite growing up. No. Um, did pottery. Oh, for really? Tactile art. Yes, yes, that's super fun. I did a lot of pottery. Okay, that's fun. You did art camp. I, oh, I you did. did art camp? As a wee thing. Oh, okay. All right, so what I'm going to start with, I'm going to move these out of the way. We're just going to go over some brushes. Okay. So today we're going to be working with acrylics, acrylic paints, but... Oh, you're just right in there. Yeah, like, this one feels like a makeup brush. <laughs> is that I'm, a makeup brush? No, it is not. It's actually a watercolor brush. Yeah. <laughs> like, literally feels like... like <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly the same. It, it is so soft. It's so soft. It's incredibly soft. Um, because, of course, watercolor is the most delicate form of painting. The watercolor paints are very delicate, and so you need a very delicate brush to do it. I, I love it. I suck at watercolor. I love the brushes, but I can't do watercolor painting. It's not durable enough, but... Well, and probably, like, the colors are thin, right? So you can't see the contrast. Exactly. Yeah. Very little contrast. The other brush I'm going to show you is this one. This is for, can you guess what this might be for? Acrylics? Oil. Oil. It is the coarsest and the most durable brush because oil paints are just... Are they thick? They're thicker. They're the thickest ones. Okay. And just because the oils themselves, even just like you have to wash your brushes with turpentine after to get the oil out of the brush. And wow. it stinks. And it can stink up your house. And not a lot of people do oil painting anymore. Of course, I mean, plenty of people do, but I would say that... Acrylic came along as a kind of solution for those kinds of people. And oil just are being very... blind. I just tried to put the brush back in and I just like, put it beside the <laughs> I do that all the time. So that's super coarse. And now these other brushes. I feel a fan. Oh my yes. god, this is like a highlighter brush. That's a, what's well, called a fan brush. Yeah, which is what we call a highlighter brush. Oh, really? On your face? Yeah, oh yeah, my you god. Use a fan brush to like, add Wait, a little you... bit of highlight, pop on the cheekbones, oh. down the nose. This really is very makeup-y. This is fun. Oh, here's another fan brush. Okay, so just a little pop on the little pop on the top like of the cheekbone. Oh, it feels good. Yeah. Good little contouring. Seriously, you really you should give me a makeup tutorial. These are fully proper like makeup brushes. This is so funny. So that fan brush is an acrylic brush, and you can tell it's soft, um, but it's not as soft as the water. Yeah. One. And it's obviously not as. It's very different coarse. shape. Well, the shapes, I want to walk you through the shapes. So the fan brush, you've already identified. Can you tell me what that one feels like? That fun? is like going to be a shader brush for the lid. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect this. She's messing up the terms, people. We are, we are discovering some creative Honestly, differences. Honestly, you probably use concealer. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Molly, where, where, where is it? Stop moving, stop moving. This is called a filbert. A filbert. A filbert brush. And... I, my way of remembering it is, I once knew a pug a, named Filbert. Wait, did you know that? Do you know Purdy's Chocolate, the Canadian chocolate yes, here? Yes. Their mascot is named Filbert. Really? Yes. Oh, the hedgehog. Is it a pug? It's oh, a it's a hedgehog. Okay. Yes. Well, it still works. So imagine a cute little pug or a hedgehog face is kind of like flat but rounded. Yeah. So that's why the Filbert brush has that kind of rounding. Oh, right, the round top, but it's flat like mm -hmm. a paddle brush. So that's your Filbert. Or your, what did you call it? Your concealer brush? Yeah. Okay. Flat shader brush. And then it's flat shader. What would you call this one? Does this exist in your makeup world, Molly? You know, there is brushes like this in the makeup world, <laughs> though I don't use them. Okay. Yeah. Probably a little more like 
Maybe for drag makeup. Yeah, the heavy feel, duty. I, there is definitely people who use these. Yeah. I've, I've gotten these in makeup set oh, brush really? sets, and I'm like, I don't know what to do with that. So that. I got see that's where my like talent as a makeup <laughs> girly goes. I'm like, wow, what do we do with this? <laughs> All right. So what would you? Um, how would you just? I mean, it's angled. One? It's an angler. That's perfect. This is called an angler. See, brush. like if this was shrunken down, it would be yep. an angled like eyeliner brush. Okay. Or you could do it like to do strokes of hair or your eyebrow. Yeah. But it would have to be like mini mini. But that thinness. With the angle, yeah. would be like an angled shader brush. Oh my goodness. Okay, so which one do you want of the of the acrylic brushes? This is called. Oh yeah, oh, go ahead and fill out. Okay. Um, and yeah, because the whole thing yeah, itself fully is, round. is fully round, mm -hmm. and that's great for little fine details. Yes, getting details in there. Work. I didn't even tell you what all of these would be good for, but I think you figured it out on your face. Yeah. So, so then we're going to get into uh, mixing some color. Do you ever use, um, Matthew, where's my phone? Uh, seeing AI? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes I find that that is super helpful for identifying colors. Okay, so uh, today we're going to, I'm going to mix a couple colors and okay. I, we're going to just make this a pink day. <gasps> because it's small. I love pink days. So it needs to be a pink day. Every day is a pink day. So I have in front of us, first Wait, of all. Wait, now that song, it's pink the, for the Barbie movie. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Uh, we only have the license for that. <laughs> You're my Ken! Oh my god, oh, Barbie, 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 Truly, this is all you need as a starter. You got your titanium white. You always need Wait, white. Wait, titanium white? Titanium white. That's just white. Super white. It's okay. the lightest it can be. Then you got your primary blue. Okay. Let me guess. Red and yellow. Yes! <laughs> Woo! See, I know something. Yes, you do. And that's because of the combos that we can create, right? So obviously we can make green out of blue and yellow, and orange out of yellow, and quite a bit. Elton is super thirsty. Uh, we can make orange. The entire video is just sound effects of my dog. <laughs> we can make orange. We can make purple with blue and purple red. Purple is my other favorite color. Oh, is it? And then Who's we surprise pink and purple. <laughs> and we can make pink with our white and our red. red. So that's what we're gonna do today for this. Why don't you um, squirt out a little blob? So this, this. Okay. Oh, by the way. This, what you're holding, is a traditional palette. It's a mixing palette, it right? It is, yeah. And then you can hold it? Yes, so right? what you would do, Molly, is, um, by the way, you need your, oh yeah, put your thumb through there to hold it just like that. Very, do you feel like, like Bob Ross? I'm no. an artiste. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Art. So, and it's nice, that, so this big white surface, uh, go ahead and take the red okay. and just splot, splotch it, blotch it, squirt it, go for I it. I feel like this is like a, as much as like a, bop it. Yeah, twist. bop it, twist it, <laughs> shake it. Squirt it, splat it. <laughs> okay. All right, good. Then we want a little uh, blob, blob, blob of white, the titanium white, anywhere nearby. Oops, Sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so take your filbert brush, and I just want you to mix those two colors together. I hope I get a pretty pink. We might have to change the ratio for you, because of course, you know, you can play with that. Okay, as you're mixing, this is really good. I, I don't know, what do you guys think? More red, more white, is it really a nice pink? It's so looking like a nice, very nice pink. Bubble, bu a bubblegum bubble, pink. Bubble gum Did pink. I nail it? I think you nailed it. Color coordinated. Did I nail it? Yep. Just don't get it on yeah. your pants, okay? Yeah, definitely. Now hold your canvas as we, or sorry, not your canvas, hold oh. your palette. Oh goodness. Yeah, okay, what, what, okay thumb, wait, thumb through, thumb, thumb through. through. Okay, got it. Got it. And here in front of you is your canvas. And then what am I doing with You're this? You're going to fully cover. Fully? Yeah, and I can hold it. Okay, the hard part, yeah, I, was, I can't like see the edge of it or anything. No, but that's, you don't have to, you can, well, you can feel the edge though. Well, I have my, I have my palette. My, my, my two hands are... Oh, well, no, I mean with the brush. Oh. So wait, The brush on. is like an you extension. Well, no, the brush yeah. is my eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you get to the edge... Oh, we painted on the oh. counter. Totally oh. fine. Whoops. Totally fine. You do have a studio. Yeah. You're, yeah. But he said his studio is messy. That's what Matthew's here for. Matthew? <laughs> <laughs> You're on counter cleaning duty? 
A hundred percent. Well, actually, I actually clean the counters. I can't even see what cleaning I'm cleaning. Cleaning the counters is one of my it's favorites. Fun. It feels meditative. It is so meditative, and you can feel. You can feel the crumbing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can feel when it feels so clean smooth. under the rag. I love mm-hmm. that feeling. Yeah. What a beautiful shade of gray. By the way, this is for your. Um, Sweater. Oh yeah, Peter Sean. I chose to wear white, which you should Probably never do. Probably the worst decision to do art with a blind girl. Like, yes. Come on now. Um. So this I, is fun. I, I I don't know. So just for you to understand, I I'm being told this is pink. I believe that it's pink. If you told me it was orange, if you told me it was beige, if you told me yes. it was brown, yes. I would also say that's yes. a beautiful beige. I completely <laughs> understand. Like yes. that's exactly how it always was for me. Is yeah. like. Dark colors, yeah. it could have been forest green, yeah. brown, black, yeah. navy, dark purple, mm-hmm. royal blue. Mm-hmm. Like, I would have believed any of those. Any of it. And your, you brain brain just, tricks you? your brain just accepts it, it whatever accepts color you've been told it is. And I'm like, is. yes, that is pink. And but now I'm you, like, like, see it as that color. I see it as pink. But I love this shade you created. It is Molly Burke Pink. Now available blind Barbie pink. at your local Blind Barbie Pink. <laughs> We'll do a whole. Uh, you could do a, a what is what's a good paint company to do or Home Depot. I don't, you Available tell me what a good paint company Home is. Home Depot. Well, people might want to paint their walls like this. Yeah. Totally different. Um, I love that. After meditating while painting my blind Barbie pink canvas, we decided to move on to another form of art that was more textural. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. And the cool thing about. Um, acrylics is that it's really fast drying okay so we're gonna set that over here to dry because we're gonna return to it in honestly that felt very meditative like just feel like the feeling of like the creaminess of the paint against the dryness of the canvas with Uh, the brush felt very like relaxing to me i'm i was so hoping you were gonna say that really relaxing because for me painting is so relaxing it is so meditative and uh here's a glove let's get both of them gloved because i know you don't want but we're gonna do a little bit more of a tactile, almost finger painting-ish. <gasps> but essentially, it's um, it's something I know a lot of vision impaired and blind people do because uh, to really create abstract and more textured things. Now, I told you earlier that oil is the most uh, thick, right? Right. But the acrylic world didn't want to be left out of that. So along comes these. They're called um, heavy gels that they created Ooh. and they're totally they'll take on any color you give them what? so it's in this it's in this little container i can smell that you yeah, opened it you can kind of smell that oh wow and yeah it's powerful don't, don't sniff up those <laughs> don't nolly don't sniff the glue okay <laughs> okay and then we're gonna take a glob of this okay okay i'm gonna i'm, I'm thinking i want to put it directly on your on the palette on the palette or on the yeah. canvas oh, right on the canvas okay okay we're gonna glob that down Okay. Now this stuff dries a little more slowly, but we want ultimately we don't want to just cover smooth like you did before. Right. We want to cover um, with texture, mm. and you can even you you'll find you'll discover you want to use your fingers. I'm so excited about this. Okay. Do we want to do purple or do we want to do an, a pink again? Because you're gonna we're gonna want to put the colors directly onto the canvas as well. Can I make space. purple? Do you want to do purple? Yeah. Let's, let's purple. change it up. Okay. So here's your blue. Okay. And you're gonna to want to use less blue than red to create a nice light. Like, okay. So if I do, I just squirt. Unless it? you like a dark purple. The, no, I want, the, I want to try to get pastel. Okay. Do so I just squirt anywhere on the yeah, palette? Squirt anywhere on the palette. Ooh, okay. And Is then, that too much? Well, you're just gonna need a lot more red. Okay. <laughs> I like the like. Um, that was a very uh, diplomatic answer. <laughs> was that too much? Well, you're just gonna need more red. <laughs> <laughs> There's always a solution. There's always a solution. All right. Perfect. Let's see how that goes. And the beautiful thing is, we can keep adding. Could we add white to make it lighter? Uh, oh, uh, Molly! Why didn't I think of that? Jeez. Who's the artist who really? <laughs> oh wow! Oh my goodness! Okay, I'll try to hold that. Oh, it's to sticky. This for you. So you want to try to see that blob of, that was up in the upper right? Yeah. That was your gel. So you really want to mix it into that area. Make sure that that kind of gets mixed throughout. <laughs> okay, everybody, what color are we getting? Sighted okay. people. Okay. It's a, a bluish gray. A bluish gray? What? <laughs> oh no! How did that happen? I think we need more red. I think we need more okay. red to take out that blue tint. Okay, okay. let's go. All right. Purple. Molly, be careful of your pants. Yes. Okay, be very mm-hmm. careful. I should have put, you know what? If I was like super pro, I would have put you in a nice apron. I used, like we used to, in 
Yeah. Now, if I get this on the counter, it'll still be okay? Oh, yeah, totally, okay. totally fine. <laughs> now, I want to see if, I think the color's turning out nice. Now, let's see if you can take your fingers and to kind of create some different patterns. I think we need more, um, where's the... Really? Oh. Do you want to touch it? Feel how schmooky it is? I want it schmookier. Really? Yeah, there we go. More. I don't know if I trust him. You can't more. see what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Molly Burke The method. Molly Plop. It's the Molly Plop. You do the plop. You do the Molly Plop. The Molly Plop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Molly, but it's creating the coolest pattern. It's almost like a stucco, very textured. And I, I really want this in the end to be very textured because when it dries, I want you to take this with you. Yay! So that tomorrow when it's fully dry, you can feel what you created, all the grooves. Okay. Can I hire you to create a piece of art for my condo? Oh, I would love to. I would love to. Okay, I almost want to stop there because I think what we created is really cool. Molly, Molly. What did I do? What did Molly, I do? No, I'm, just, I'm doing it. I'm touching your hands. <laughs> Molly, I'm so proud of you for creating this thing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wash my hands. We're not going to get it on our white clothes. We wore nice white I'm things stepping today away. and pink things. So, um, what do we think of this? Can we can we That's see the so texture? Textured, yeah. Very cool. textured. So, I was creating mountains, peaks and valleys, so such as life. The cool thing about this is it's it's a it's a dry so it will dry overnight and this will become a a piece of art that is tactile. A tactile piece of art. And we're gonna get those gloves off. I want you to know while you're discussing this, I'm like disgustedly taking off the gloves. Okay, Matthew! Matthew, Beautiful. we need you! <laughs> okay, we need a place for this to go, yeah, and yeah. then we need a place for the gloves to go, and then we need to wash our hands. See, I thought anything shiny or glittery was tacky. Yeah. And now that I can only see shiny or glittery things, I love it. It's, it's so favorite. funny. I'm we're gonna change. create the tackiest art. I can't wait. Okay, so feel. I want you to feel your canvas first. This was your pink bubblegum pink Molly Ooh. Burke pink bar, blind Barbie girl pink canvas, and it's fully dry. Wow, that's quick. We had a little speediness because Matthew actually stole away and um, lo used a blow dryer. Ah, we cheated a little bit. Yeah, but it, it dries fast. So it's nice. Okay, so we have in here these little shiny guys. Matthew, would you call these like little gems? Like they're rhinestones. Rhinestones? rhinestones. Yes, yeah, they're totally rhinestones. You know your business. Um, I know they're my different, <laughs> They're different colors. These other ones next to it, which are, oh, they're like super, because they're rounded. They're oh, like I like softer these. Softer or something. Not softer, but what am I trying to say? Smoother? These are pearls. Half pearls. Okay. This is fun. And then here we got something totally different. A little <gasps> bloof. Poof balls. What color are they? So I think these are pastels. So the the um, what are these? The the pearls are like a, a what would you say, iridescent pastel, Matthew. Mm -hmm. And then the rhinestones are a little more metallic, maybe. Um, is there a pink one, Matthew? Mm -hmm. Okay, Molly. Before you get too far, we have to glue. We have to glue these things down onto your canvas. I love what you're doing so much. You know, Paul, some of us just have the gift and <laughs> others don't. And you can't force it, you know? Some people, art is just in them, and others it just isn't. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. <laughs> no, one fell. I have to put two more to make up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Matthew? You're going to hold beautiful. it. Beautiful. beautiful. What, tilt, do the tilt test. Oh, wow. Nothing fell. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Smoking too soon. Oh. Okay. <laughs> no, one fell. I have to put two more to make up. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this feels a little more like arts and crafts, yes. but it is still art, and you can have really fun with it. I love abstract art. I love texturized art. Okay, do not touch this, Molly. This is your crazy, gloopy, mountainous. Okay, so I'm just mountains. going to drop. Purple mountains, majesty. <gasps> yeah. That's the best crayon. Oh, it's a crayon. Yes. Okay. Purple Mountain Majesty is a crayon. <laughs> oh, okay. I wonder if it's the same shade. I doubt it. Sponsored by Crayola. <laughs> hey, did you know in Canada we call them pencil crayons? I know. And here they don't know what that is. No, I know. They call them colored pencils. Colored pencils. Pencil crayons. Pencil is crayons. So much cooler. <laughs> Let the artists do their thing. Leave the artists at work, Matthew. Yes. What do you think, Neve? Keep going. Keep, Keep going. going. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> More uh, big pearls. No big pearls? Big. More. Oh, more yeah, big yeah, pearls. Big, big. Okay, well, can I get in here? Well, yeah, 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 absolutely. I'm thinking the same, artist. Matthew. Well, no, but I feel like, well, now it's a now it's a Molly Polly original if I'm involved. What do we do? How do we do? Oh, my God, I think it's beautiful. What do you think? Oh, yeah. It's sparkling. 
I love it. Do you like it? Yeah. Now that I got a feel for one form of tactile art, do you like the pun? I feel very punny right now. Um, it was time to explore another form of tactile art. I mean, obviously the floofies really did it in. Look at my art progression. <laughs> I am progressing in my style, skill, and talent. <laughs> you are so talented. You are more, clearly, she's more talented. Like, than I'm thinking that one, we could go for like $2.50, uh -huh. like $2.50. Oh, no. And then this one, we could probably get five. <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach you. Now, the final thing I'm going to show you is the thing that people probably ask me. Is it more... slime? No, it's not oh. slime. But it's close. Uh, people always want to know if when I'm fully blind, yeah. I will pivot to sculpting. Clay. Clay. But I have a little fun thing. It's actually called Magic... What is this called? Magic something? I don't know. It's by Crayola. It's almost like a Play-Doh. Is play it really tactile? It's, well, it's, it's, it's like... Well, I'm gonna give you a <gasps> I hear it. I can hear I'm it. I'm going to give you a patty. Okay. And it is bright pink. <gasps> There's a bright pink pat patty. Oh my god. This is a sculpting... Dough. This is crazy. Um, Me smelling everything. <laughs> the people watching have seen that I like have sniffed like everything. <laughs> when I opened this up, I'm so like, blind I love... I'm like, I can't see it. I should smell it. <laughs> <laughs> I smell everything. My my smelling is probably my most powerful sense. Oh yeah, when I, I lost a lot of my vision, yeah. the set my sense of smell was so haywire yeah. that things were so overwhelming. Yeah. Like strong yeah. scents yeah. were just too much. Too much. Oh, I mean, people who wear cologne. Oh my god. I mean, I notice you don't wear perfume. If you do, it's very light. Yes, it's always very light if yeah, I do. Because I, you can tell when people, you know, it's so powerful. If I walk into the elevator, elevator? and there's nobody even in Nobody's there, in there. But I can smell I'm the... choking. What? What has happened? That is not how it's supposed to be. <laughs> I mean, I have a game when I get onto the elevator. It's like... It's like, oh, those are McDonald's French fries. Mm, okay, yes. and I go, or there's like Taco Bell, or oh, that person needed to wear deodorant yeah. today, or that person wore too much Axe body spray today. I will literally <laughs> be able to be like, oh, there's a pizza place nearby, and people are like, no, I don't think so. A yeah. block later, they're like, yeah. oh, pizza place. I'm like, told you. Speaking of pizza, I feel like these are becoming pizza. That's patties. basically what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> so do you think you'll get into doing like working Woo. with clay? Uh, I would love to, and I've done, I love, so I want you to start tearing this apart and taking a piece and maybe like rolling it. I want you to roll it out really thin like a snake. Okay. So I have been using clay and uh, Fimo and other sponge sculpting clay since I was a little kid. I still return to it sometimes just because I love the tactile nature of it. I love creating characters. The original penguins, I suppose. Oh. But there's two little penguins on a rock with uh, ocean water crashing up under them. And I want you to just, yeah, keep doing that and getting really long and really, really thin. Um, and uh, so I just love it. It's very, again, meditative. I don't yeah, know, it's like super relaxing. I feel like I have paint on me. Oh. oh. I don't see anything. Oh, I'm wet. Oh, you wet? Something was, it? was, was wet. It? Oh, it touched okay. me and I got scared. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Do you want to feel him? Yes. He has a little smile and two little oh eyes. Oh my god. Molly, that is so precious. That is so cute. Art. Right. You got that smile on there so perfectly. See, tactile art. Yeah. Tactile art. He's a little crooked, but I feel like it works. Well, some people have crooked smiles, you know? Yeah. All right, Molly, I have something exciting planned for us. Okay. So after we've done all <laughs> the fear in her voice, <laughs> she's like, it's kind of like nap time. As long as I won't stain my pants, I'm in. No, I know. You're not going to stain your, we didn't get any stains on you, did we? No, I don't we kept so. you, no. We kept I'm you honestly free. one of the cleanest people yeah. you'll meet. I almost never yeah. get any stains or drips on me, do I, Mom? Barely. It's okay. shock. Like, sighted people drip their food on themselves more than I do. <laughs> and then I'll like, go to a restaurant, they're like fussing, they're like, Molly, make sure you put your napkin, it's really messy, lean over the plate. And I'm like, I've got it. And then like, I'm the only clean one by the end. So. <laughs> I wish I could say the same for myself. But yeah, I learned that's not the case. I know, I'm just the stereotype over here. I'm glad they're like busting those things. So what I want to do though is, uh, now that we've created some art and you've shown that you have a hidden talent, and that, that, I want to take you to an art museum that is a multi-sensory art experience that is really, um, will demonstrate to you that art museums are not just for sighted people, they're not just paintings hanging on walls, and we're going to check out this really cool new space here in Seattle called uh, WNDR 
which could be wonder, it could be wander, it could be winder, we don't know. Okay. It's just called WNDR. Full disclosure, we actually ended up eating cookies on the couch and talking some more, and when we get talking, Lord knows it never stops. Um, and then we went out for a glorious dinner and ate way too much bread and cheese and tomatoes, but it was worth every single bite. However, the next day, we did go to the art gallery slash museum, and this is how that went. It's just really fun that places like this exist because artists and creative people like you and I, who don't have our vision to rely on, can still enjoy these types of experiences. So are you ready to head inside? Yes, because we know so often artists like don't touch. Right. Which is like really annoying when it's just like a painting on the wall or like a sculpture <laughs> and like, but I want to touch it. But I get my I don't hands know. all over so it. So this is fun because we can like, I think probably smell mm -hmm. and touch. And Even taste. Taste. This is a bit of tasting okay, inside. Okay, I'm very excited. Have you ever licked a painting? I have never licked a painting. This is going to be a first. Let's go lick some paintings, Let's folks. Let's do it. Oh my god, this is everything. <laughs> this is everything. <laughs> Evidently, I was way too excited and did not explain what we were doing, so I'm going to. But before I do, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is your one-stop shop for everything you need to build a beautiful online presence for your brand. My website, mollyburkeofficial.com, is hosted on Squarespace. And basically, Squarespace has a ton of different templates that you can mix and match to make your perfect customized website for way cheaper than trying to build one from scratch. I know because I investigated my options and this was by far the best one out there. They also have marketing tools, analytics, you can have an online shop, they have custom merch, you can integrate a blog or comment features, you can have private exclusive content, you can book meetings and appointments, sell digital products, physical products, and so much more. And when you're ready, you can use squarespace.com slash Molly Burke to get 10% off your purchase of a website or domain name. All right, now let me explain what we were doing. So essentially, we were walking through a tunnel that entered into the art gallery itself, but the tunnel was really an experience of its very own. Uh, it was a mirrored tunnel. So all of the walls were mirrors, the ceiling was mirrored, and then the floor was this pad of lights that moved and changed. But what was really cool is when it felt pressure of your feet or in the dog's case, their paws, it actually changed color and got brighter, um, which was just so much fun. Though I will admit that the mirrors confused Elton there at the very end. He literally like walked to the mirror and then stopped. It was very funny. Um, and it would have been my favorite part, except the next part of what we did stole the show for me and was absolutely my favorite. Basically, there was a panel of buttons, and when you push them, they made different sounds, and not only did it make sounds, but there was lights on this wall in front of us that changed and moved. It's a little bit hard to explain, but it was so much fun, so check it out. We're gonna try the musical exhibit. Oh yeah, let's do it. Oh, okay, I'm about to. Right. This po there's a podium over here. G? Here, no more. G? Okay, so there's a podium in front of you. Okay. On the podium are four rows of four. Oh, buttons. Buttons. And if you push one, yeah. you'll start a song. Okay. I'm going to hold one down and then add a little something. Listen to me, I'm a musician. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> We're collaborating. Some musical collaboration. There's DJ. Oh, Molly Burke DJ. <laughs> this is so fun. Hooray. <laughs> Molly Burke. Oh, 
Mom, this is way too much fun. I know, it's fabulous. What a perfect spot for you guys. Did you see all the lights? <laughs> yeah. What's cool Ooh. about it is it doesn't matter what you push. It, it sounds, sounds good. good. Yeah, yes, brother. that's what I noticed. This is the tasting art where you eat a sour gummy, then you dissolve this like square on your tongue, then you eat the second sour gummy and it tastes sweet. Now, what is this exactly? It's like a berry, Matthew? Mm. What is the berry? It's a West African berry. A West African berry, not poisonous, maybe for dogs. That will make sour food taste sweet. Mm. Okay, I'm dissolving the, the, the West African berry. Are you up? Are you in it? I'm still chewing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm dissolving now. Oh. It's like, it's really light. It dissolves very quickly. Oh, it's actually sour. And it's sour. It's really sour. I so guess. this will bind with the proteins of low pH foods and activate the sweet receptors. Okay. And then we stare into this big swirly light area while we do it? Uh, sure. Okay. Does it work? It tastes not sour now. <laughs> <laughs> After having way too much fun making music and consuming a slightly underwhelming Miracle Berry, us blindies went on to continue to enjoy all the lights because what's new? Yeah, see this is like, you can see this. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is cool here. There's light on this other wall, but it's very faint for me because it's reflecting, but into the sky. Cool. Is it like is it like the walls have visuals on them? Yeah, there's like the walls have light shining across them. Following the storm room in which I could hear all the noises of a storm and see a little bit of light, but definitely did not get as much out of it as the sighted folks that were there. Um, we ended up going to a room that creates AI art, so artificial intelligent art. Um, and basically you would tell it what you wanted it to create and it would provide you six different versions of it. High color contrast, black and white dog as a cartoon. Oh, okay. It's beautiful. Is it? Yeah. Wow. I can tell like there's some dark and some light. Is it? Uh, it is high color. It is a lot of contrast. Is it a cartoon? But it doesn't it's seem cartoon cartoony. Kind of here's, oh, here's, here's one. Here's one. It's really cartoony. It's beautiful. Oh, I like this one. That's really bold. Oh, yeah. Like I can tell that it's dark here. Light here, yeah, dark here. Nose. 
Then we explored a few other exhibits that were also equally as fun, but I don't want to spoil all of it in case one of you wants to go attend, which I do highly recommend. Like, even if you saw what we did, it's so much fun to do it for yourself. So definitely check that place out. Really cool. I'll link it down below in case anybody's interested. Uh, if you just can't wait, you know you're never going to attend, you really want to see everything, the full unedited, unfiltered version of this video is available over on my Patreon, patreon.com slash Molly Burke. I recently updated all the perks and rewards that you receive as a Patreon member. So now my Patreon includes exclusive merch, the OG favorite, the weekly live stream. It involves secret life updates. And the most exciting is content that you won't see anywhere else, extended cuts of videos, videos that never make the internet, all sorts of stuff like that. So go over and check that out for those perks and so many more, patreon.com slash Burke if you are interested. I think it's very clear that I had way too much fun making this video with Paul and you can click over here to watch part one of this video or over here to watch me learn how to play piano from a blind musician.